So we've got our RIS100 library loaded through this awesome new Blisslib framework and user interface for you. And we've incorporated the notes section. So if you pull up the notes on your PXR Disney shader or any shader that um, the RIS100 supports, you can see at the bottom there it tells you which material you're on. So as you're going through, you know which ones. And if you drop down this color changing paint material, it puts in that SE expression node upstream. And that's the beauty about this Blisslib. Not only does it have this cool UI, but it creates and deletes nodes upstream. So if I select something else, that SE expression node goes away. It's very clean. And you can customize it to have any nodes upstream. You want textures, you want more SE expressions, patterns, whatever. This Blisslib framework will do it. Um, so, you know, once you select that material, it does your entire shading network if you wanted to, as well as the presets that we can see here. So we're using that in conjunction with this material viewer that you can see here. And if you haven't tried it yet, that's an awesome feature in Maya 2016. Renderman supports it. So we've got a bunch of different stuff going on here. We've got uh, RIS 100 uh, full material library. We've got this cool Blisslib UI that we've incorpor incorporated with it. And we've got the material viewer happening all live. So this is just a great way to look dev your scenes, um, choose your different materials, you know, play with the different geo. Here I got the shader ball, the cloth, and the Maya material viewer. And of course our RIS 100 full material database based on the Merle 100 database. So give it a download, give it a try, uh, load it up, and you'll find that it's just really quick for uh, look deving your materials and creating nodes upstream for you. Uh, so give that a try and uh, let us know how you like it and show us your renders.